What's going on boys, no guys here, welcome back to another video and in today's video we have the 4312 custom tactics and instructions. I'm going to go through it, it's one of the best attacking formations and you're really going to like using this one this weekend league. But before I go into attacks, I want to say this video is sponsored by myself, my FIFA School Series. So if you do want to get better at FIFA, you can come join the FIFA School Series and you don't get better after one month, I'll refund your money, that is a nil guys guarantee. The most elaborate videos and in-depth tutorials and right now we have a series where we're actually running all the way from Division 10 to the elite division uh so we're going to end up using a 100k team and going into elite division to show you exactly how to get from division 10 to the elite division up to the higher ranks but otherwise we've got loads of tools there link is down below in the description for the fifa school series but anyway let's go straight into the tactics so i just want to make this clear this is a very attacking formation okay so um this is more attacking than a 4 one 2 one 2 second variation you don't have the cdm there's two variations one when the left back and right back go forward i'm going to show you both of those okay so the first one is defensive style now um normally i would say pressure on heavy touch for an attacking formation just because normally you're losing or you want to be a tad bit aggressive but this formation you have to be quite delicate with just because a left back and right back when they fly forward you could be in behind or your opponent could get in behind very very easily we left this on balance what we have done though is we've increased the width to 60 um the sole reason for this is because the 4312 is quite a narrow formation now don't get me wrong by increasing the width you don't you don't make them as left mids and right mids people get that confusion if you increase width and like to 100 does it make the left mid and right mid like left mids and right mids no they remain as left centimeters and right centimeters. Um, you can always put the instruction um, cover wing on them, but it just makes them a bit wider in the defensive shape, better for pressing, and that way it's easier for you to be able to press manually. The depth, we put this on 50 by default. Now you're gonna say, why am I not high up the pitch? You're gonna see why. The counter attack aspect of this formation is very deadly. And the idea is you kinda wanna be quite balanced, not sitting too far forward. You kinda want your, kinda bait the opponent in when the opponent gets locked in and you win the ball back, and that is when you blitz him on the counter attack. Um, so that's why we've gone that. Feel free to use pressure every touch though if you are good at defending. I would say again, if you're looking about 1.8k skill rating, if you're at that level, I would say consider pressure on heavy touch. But anything below, I would say very much be careful with that. And now the build up play. Now there's two systems you can use. There's fast build up play, which I would recommend um, I would only say fast build up play if you know that you're struggling with attack because the problem is in fast build up play is they run forward a bit too quick and a lot of lower tier players would prefer that because they prefer the counter attack style um, but as you ease up in the higher divisions the fast build up play won't work as well and you'll find yourself getting countered even more so what I would say is um, if you struggle with L1 triggers use fast build up play if you want a quick way to go forward but not crazy and it's quite balanced and you can pass the ball and you actually have options because with fast ball to play let's be real you don't have any options so a long ball you do have options and at least everyone does make that run going forward so don't forget long balls only in the first two thirds the idea is when you win the ball back your team will go very much forward and the players will be making runs in behind i'll explain that when i go over to the instruction side now chance creation um i normally stay within two forward runs or direct passing now normally i would say forward runs um it makes the formation quite good but this is already a very attacking formation as it is you're going to see we've got the left centimeter right centimeter there on get forward anyway so what we've done is we put this on direct passing now direct passing the best way i could describe it is if you have a striker that is there in in the attacking third let's say in behind your defenders they would try to look to go forward but they won't aimlessly go forward with the rest of the team. And what that means is you're still going to have the passing option to them. So if you have, for example, a first time fake shot or you like to pass the ball to your feet, you can do it. Now, you can use target man to override this. That's what's important. But we're going to be using getting behind. So we're not using forward runs because we don't want everyone. We don't want our center miss to fly forward in the final third. So direct passing does give that availability, whereas forward runs is a bit more on the attacking end. That's probably the best way I can describe it without getting too much into the nitty gritty. Um, so the kind of the, the how it's... When people, when people read it they say oh yeah um strikers are fast you don't really need strikers that are fast it's not that important um you can play with anyone here i play with sun there maybe quite fast but i also use neymar with a finisher but i'll get on to that in a second but they do make runs in behind um now the width this is the this is the important one we've gone with a width of 70. um the reason why is you're going to see this if you like to abuse the l1 triangle or the um the l1 trigger meta or the driven through ball meta this is a formation for you now obviously i don't condone that but with direct passing and the l1 triggers and with a very wide width they make these deadly runs in behind so we're not going to put them on stay central we're going to leave them on balanced and what that means is when you get the counter attack you got those guys flying forward if you can't pass the ball to them 
these guys come into support and you guaranteed always have a player available to pass to. Guaranteed. You'll see what I mean. When you use formation, you'll be like, wow. And then you can just recycle the ball and get the ball to your striker. Of course, that means you're susceptible to a counter-attack, but you will see what I mean when you do use it. Players in the box. I personally put this on two just because I don't want everyone to be getting inside the box in a crossing type situation because any time of... We know this. When you, Every time you get a corner or a cross, it's counter-attack city. So... With only two players back, you've got to be very, very careful. Um, and then we go into the instructions. So, as I mentioned, get forward and stay, uh, stay for so get in behind and stay forward for both the strikers. This with direct passing, when you get the counter attack, if you get the ball, they will initially start making a run. Then it's up to you to do the L1 trigger to push them further or for you to make the timing. So, that's where the long ball is going to help. The direct passing in the final third is they're going to back up into the final third and make the runs in behind. So if your opponent's playing a part of the bar system, they're going to be available to pass the ball to and then they'll make runs in these, I suppose, situations where they it's deemed viable. So when a player moves out of position or your opponent moves the center back out of position. No stay central. And the reason for that is when you're counter-attacking, you want these guys to be running also down the wing. Now, putting them on drift right all the time is not that effective. So you want them central sometimes. So leave them unbalanced. Um, they actually make quite uh, quite intelligent runs themselves. So it's the first time you're ever going to see me use um, uh, no, no stay central and we're going to be using drift wide. So leave them on default, let them do what they want. But ideally, two fast players here are, are ideal. Um, but otherwise, one fast and one mediocre player that, uh, that can dribble is more than good enough, like a Ronaldo and let's say, I don't know, someone like uh, Messi, let's say. Um, whether the Messi is better dribbler, but you kind of see what I'm trying to say. Um, the camp, you can even on stay forward as well. So that way, when you don't have the ball, you can counter attack your opponent very, very easily. If you do struggle with defending, you can always put this guy on come back on defense. Um, so it's up to you. So use this formation with stay forward first. If you know yourself that you struggle with this, change it. You know, when I release the formation, if you find something is wrong with it, just change it. You have to remember, some people like to be over defense, some people like to be over attacking. Just make this small, this is like a template. This is everything put in place. You just make the fine tune changes. That's all you gotta do, okay? Um, it's kind of like, um, uh, this, and, and sorry, and we go to the CDM now. This has to be a fast CDM. I would say Kante is the limit of who I'd go in terms of the pace. Any lower, I would say no. You need a shadow on this guy. This is the guy. Because when you're attacking, you're going to have a back three. Now, most people have, for example, um, two strikers on stay forward or three strikers in a 3-5-2 or 4-1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two. So you're going to have a three versus three at the back. So you're fine, okay? But you still need the pace to be able to recover while you give your time for your left back and right back to come back. So that's the most important thing, okay? Then left centre mid and right centre mid. I would say first try them on get into the box and get forward, okay? That's the first one. Um, defensively, you want to cover center because when you defend, you want to defend back in the three center mids. Um, you want to defend like in a four and a bank of three in front. Um, so I would say try this first, okay? It's going to sound too, too attacking, but just trust me. Try this first. See how you go with it. If you find us it's too attacking, leave one of them on balanced and leave one of them on get forward. Um, but I think a lot of you guys actually like both of them on get forward. Now, these two players have to be very attacking or very dynamic. I have Pulisic here, who's basically a winger, because uh, he makes that deep run inside the box. So you basically, if your opponent's got like a back four, you basically have two strikers, your cam, and you have a guy running into the middle. Sometimes you end up having a 3v2, sometimes even a 4v2. And if you introduce the other left centre mid, there is actually no option. That's why if the left back and right back go forward, these guys, the opponent's back four, they compress naturally how they do. And you're going to have a pass and link distribute the ball back to the center mids. And you're going to have the runs inside the middle. And that is why it's more attacking, I suppose you can say, than the 3 5 2 because you've got the left center mid and the right center mid. And you lack the one, you, but you only have one CDM. So you do sacrifice the defensive shape with two CDMs, but it makes it more attacking. Um, and then if it's too much for you, I said leave it on balance, but I think better than both of them get a four would be perfectly fine. Now for the left back and right back, I would say put this on stay back, conservative overlap, like always, okay? And then what you do is inside the game, you press up on the D-pad and then you press left, up, then left. What that means is attacking full back. So even though these guys on stay back while attacking, when you activate attacking full backs, it overrides this and they will run forward. And the reason why this is important, you have to be smart. Because if you're in around 2k skill rating, any top tier player will be smart enough to pause the game, 
change to a four striker, like a 4-4-2 or 4-2-4 or 4-2-3-1, put the three cams in a striker or any 4-4-2 formation, put any of these guys on stay forward. And if they do that, you're in trouble because what's going to happen is he's going to pause the game and put these guys on stay forward. But don't worry, you're going to be one step ahead. If he does that and he's ready to counter your system, don't worry because now what you'll have is a back four. And if you see he's got four players on stay forward, then you just turn off attacking full backs. Then you have a 5v4 at the back. And then your opponent's going to only have two centre mids. And you're going to have five players versus your opponent's two CDMs and two centre backs. So you're going to get a numerical advantage there. If he decides to be smart again and change back to another formation, then you can activate attacking full backs. Now, don't forget when you attack, activate attacking full backs, it happens on the fly. As soon as you press, it's like a light switch, like this. As soon as I press it on, they run forward. That's it. Like that. When you actually change tactics, it's a bit like making tea. You have to press the kettle, wait for the kettle to then boil, then pour the tea. So the difference is, is that the attacking fullbacks is instant. So it's going to take your opponent, wait for the ball to go out of play, out of play or a substantial time in play for the formation to change. And that is when you can react quicker. Do you see? So that is, and you will see this. You will see this. You will get in a situation and be like, hmm, that's what Neil's talking about. Do it and you'll love this formation. It's a very, very good, fun attacking formation. Um, I'm actually going to be using it this weekend, League. Um, it might not go into my system just yet. I don't know which one to replace. I might replace my 4-3-3 a defensive formation because me personally, I never use it that much. But I think you guys will really use it. But that is, of course, the 4 3 one too. That is a formation that you're very much going to enjoy. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. And don't forget as well, my FIFA score series um, link is down below in the description. As I said, patreon.com forward slash Neil guys. Link is down below in the description. And not only that, we have more elaborate tutorials from every aspect of the game. Everything in a structured format from defense to attack. All loads of videos, hundreds of videos. As I said, money back guarantee you don't get better after one month. That is how confident I am because I truly believe it's the best service out there. But that is Neil guys. Thanks for watching. Take these, of course. I'll catch you next time. Peace out, guys.